Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from the Sandwich Book of 1900, we're going to be making the peanut butter sandwich. Now, 1900, uh, Carl Landsteiner first identified an accurate system for typing blood, ABO, which we still use today. Uh, Lewis's Lunch supposedly made the first modern style hamburger sandwich. And uh, Xavier Cougat was born. That's right, Xavier Cougat. Now the title says peanut butter sandwich, but I gotta tell you, this is unlike any peanut butter sandwich I've ever had or seen. Add to a pot flour, sugar, mustard, pepper. Whisk that together a little bit. Add an egg. Now we turn on the heat. Slowly whisk in some vinegar and warm water. Now supposedly we cook this until it's uh, thickened. Now the original recipe says to add 10 cents worth of ground salted peanuts. Uh, but I'm doing a half recipe, so five cents, and five cents in 1900 is about a buck 38 today. Uh, I have no idea how many peanuts that is, so I'm just gonna add some. <sighs> then we're gonna let this cool a little bit. Okay, now that it's cooled a little, we'll put some on some bread and have a sandwich. <sighs> okay, let's give this peanut butter sandwich a go. Tangy. Oh, good lord. For the half recipe, it's a quarter cup of vinegar, and that's what I used, and holy smokes. This is basically a vinegar and peanut sandwich. That said, I do think we can plus this up. All right, so that was uniquely awful. Uh, I'm gonna give the peanut butter sandwich a score of zero. Uh, I can't even hork it down if I was starving because it's way too tangy, way too strong with the vinegar, and I don't get it. I cut the recipe in half and did exactly that. It also says to cook as you would a salad dressing and then add the peanuts. So we made a salad dressing with peanuts in it. Ugh. No thank you, goodbye, getting something else for lunch. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow.